the wolf said. Oh, Grandma, what big hands you have. All the better to grab you with, the wolf said. Oh, Grandma, what a big mouth you have. Exclaimed Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with. The wolf roared. Jumped off the bed and ate the poor girl whole. With his stomach full. The wolf got back into grandma's bed and fell asleep. Snoring loudly. A huntsman, who was passing by the house, heard him and thought it was very strange for the old woman to snore so loudly. He looked inside and saw that it was the wolf who was snoring. The huntsman had been looking for the wolf for a long time. At long last he had found him. The huntsman lifted his gun and was just about to shoot, when he had a thought. Maybe the old woman was still alive inside his belly. So the man took a pair of scissors and cut open his belly. He saw a red hood popping out and then Little Red Riding Hood jumped out. The huntsman cut a bit more and the grandmother came out, too. Little Red Riding Hood gathered some stones and they filled the wolf's belly with them. When he woke up, he was scared and tried to run away but the stones were so heavy that he fell down dead. The three ate some cake, happy in the knowledge that the wolf was not going to be a danger anymore. Little Red Riding Hood decided never to leave the path again and to listen more carefully to what her mother told her.